Really the whole reason behind this whole video is I wanted to show you guys that you can make cosmetic changes on your van over time. It's actually very easy to do. What's up everybody? Doing a little change into the old ghost action. Remodel, dude. Do you want to be on camera? Because I wasn't going to put you, but I, I mean, will. Just don't put my face. <laughs> don't put your face. Yeah, guy. Dude, this guy. Dude, this <laughs> it's got smart pack. Hey. <laughs> Easy with that. Stalin smart pack. This guy. All right, anyways, maybe I should vlog Look without you, David. Head. All right, anyways, <laughs> what we're doing is uh, I'm with Dave, but he doesn't like to put his face on camera, so we're just not going to put him on camera. Right now, we're actually working out of a Home Depot parking lot. We're going to time lapse this whole thing. I've been wanting to change this wall since the moment I finished the van, but I wanted to also live in the van for like six months, which it's been about roughly, before I changed the wall because I wanted to play with different... Hey. Things. We have, a, What's we have a cameo. It just got free. How'd he get out? Dude, I told you this guy's a smart. Boy. How did he get off his thing? He's wicked smart guy. My boy's wicked smart. Hey, come here. Hi, buddy. Come here. Hi, buddy. How'd you get off that? We got help from a, a pup dog here. Oh, your dad is always giving the hugs and the kisses. For a guy that doesn't want to be on camera, does like to talk a lot, huh? I've been wanting to change this wall for quite some time, and now I'm finally getting around to it. I've lived in the space in a enough amount of time where i've come up to the conclusion of what i want on here so i guess stay tuned on the end of that dave's sitting on my real expensive backpack so i'm gonna get it from underneath his ass right now so pretty much what we're doing is uh we have to i want i did not like my frame my my window frame whatsoever i was kind of rushing that process i also put a blue shelf in here you know it was really cool concept at the time and i still really love the, the, the blue shelf and the idea of it i also didn't like the location of the uh the outlets i did it to match these over here so this is a uh we're doing this all out of a home depot parking lot that's i'm sorry but that's pretty freaking impressive we're gonna add a aesthetic wall i guess or textured wall of um pallet barn wood we're also gonna add one against that wall over there there and we're gonna probably put one up here as well. Dave is removing my boxes very very nicely. You got some nice boxes bro. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get to all of the fun stuff now. We this the demo is what almost done? Uh yeah demo's almost done. Demo's pretty much done now. We're just going to uh finish some stuff up here. I'm excited guys you guys ready to see what's going on? We'll check back in maybe around lunchtime. All right guys, we'll check back in with you in a little bit. Although it's gonna be a long time for us, it's gonna be seconds for you guys, lucky. All right, we moved from Home Depot to my brother's house now because he has a table saw and mostly Dave actually, because he doesn't like uh, relinquishing control. We're moving the outlets right now. There was a USB outlet right here and there was a uh, AC outlet right here. We're gonna put them both down here. So we have to move all the wires. We had to buy some more wire and we had to run the wire through the wall and we're gonna bring it over there to the sink area. Uh, we got some panel boards and I'll show you guys those right now. Oh, there's Jeff. Yo. Say what? Wanna say hi? He hates the camera. Oh, you're dropping my batteries. Now cutting the edge of the boards, making them square them up. Great looking wall when it's all said and done. You pretty much jointed all the boards, right, Dave, with the table saw? Yeah, squared them all up. Squared them all up, jointed them. Whatever. We don't have a joiner, so the best thing to do is to just use a table saw. I think you cut about an eighth of an inch off. These are the rest of the boards down here. What's up, Jeff? My niece, Ella. Uh, we're going to start putting up the boards here. You guys are going to see how that all happens. Oh, we're going to take it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to start from the bottom up? I just want to see if I just want to see the angle of how far you're off. Yeah, we're off. All right, we're gonna cut this now. Watch the time lapse of this all going up.
guys, what's up? It's now the evening time, the night time. It's too late for us to get any work done. Honestly, I want to also give just a massive shout out to Dave, my buddy. He just wanted to like, needed to actually just get his carpentry out a little bit. He never did a pallet wall before and he wanted to do one. So uh, his van, by the way, is freaking gorgeous. He has more of like a, a lake house vibe, a lot of cedar and pine wood. And, and walnut i love his van so much but you know my van is a little bit different look to it and i wanted to soften up it seemed a little sterile in here i've always wanted to do something with this wall it's not done by the way I'm, this is just a break in the video but i wanted to do something with this wall for a very long time i tried something with that shelf that was up there that everybody called blue painters tape it was good i liked the shelf of it it did break up the white wall a little bit it still gave it that modern feel to it but i wanted to do something like this i've been wanting to do I just didn't know how it was going to look and I finally was like I pulled the trigger and I was like you know what let's just go do it and we actually were in Home Depot today before all this all started for probably like an hour and a half like looking at different weathered boards I guess there was a couple different options and we went with this one tomorrow we're gonna finish the rest of that wall this is, normally is a cushion right here so we're gonna finish the rest of this wall we're gonna do this wall as well with the same pallets and then we're going to do that wall over there let's pick this up tomorrow Dave again could not do it without this guy I mean I could have I could have done it by myself but he is just uh, he's very He's very particular about how he does certain work and he was really, really good about it. So he has a very good idea for the window frame. I, by the way, if you guys did not know this, I rushed my window frame the first go around. It was the end of the build. I was just so frustrated with it, slapped it up there and I've honestly hated it ever since. That was back in Portland months ago and I was just super duper frustrated with it. And I'm really glad that we're doing a different frame now and I can't wait to get it done tomorrow. It's a little bit of a work zone. I've been cleaning up a little bit to get it ready for tomorrow, but days I got so much work I gotta do this is what it is, right guys? It's the story of my life. All right, so I guess this is the point of the video where this hat isn't available, but I do have other hats available on jaratachi.com and jaratachi.com slash shop, as well as a really cool zip up hoodie. I'm not wearing any of my clothes right now because I've I've been working and I don't like to get those those clothes dirty and ruined. So check out jaretacha.com slash shop if you guys are interested in any of those merch ghost gear. Uh, I got other things coming too, by the way. Anyways, all right guys, you guys will see this all finish. going on every buddy all right guys we are further along in thy video wall is pretty much up now we were going to do this wall over here as well with pallets but we decided to not do that pretty much last minute instead we did by the way the vins a mess this is the third day that we're working on it this wall over that side over there we decided to do that and we did the window trim when i say we i didn't really do much now here's the reason i'm gonna get a lot of crap about this could i have done the wall myself absolutely 100 percent. it may have taken me an extra day because i am such a perfectionist that i need to make sure i get it done super duper right dave is pretty much a master carpenter he's been doing this a very long time dave is the type of person where where he loves to give back. As you guys have noticed, I have not put him on camera all that much. He does not like any type of spotlight. He doesn't like to be known for that kind of thing. He honestly just likes to give back to, I would say friends and family, but honestly, he does it to people that he's just met for a week or something along those lines. He volunteers his hours and he actually keeps track of how many hours he volunteers. The guy is an absolute gem of a guy. He has an amazing van, which I am gonna post a video on. Nobody has ever toured his van he does not put it out on social media i just want to give him a huge shout out his instagram i am not going to put it in the video does 
doesn't like it, but I will put it in the description below. I believe it's private. So he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't like that kind of attention, which is really like sweet and nice, right? So him and I have become pretty close over the last few weeks and he volunteered his hours to give me a hand with this wall. When we started working, he just was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for you, man. Again, he's also very precise. The window frame, I probably would have done a lot differently. The way that he did it was very efficient. It's a very good structurally hold, structural hold to it. So I can't complain uh, whatsoever. I actually really, really love it. Really the whole reason behind this whole video is I wanted to show you guys that you can make cosmetic changes on your van over time. It's actually very easy to do. These are pallet boards that I bought from Home Depot. They come in a package of seven or eight boards. We have to join each one, yes, but I got three of them. I think they're $25 a piece. So what is that? $75. I think all in all, it was about $100 worth of materials from the adhesive that I used, the poplar board that I used for the frame of the window, as well as uh, the stain, the polyurethane. All of that was roughly about 100 bucks. I just bought warm lights for under cabinets. You guys can see my light right there. It is a cool white light. With the new wood tones, I am now changing the under cabinet lights to a warm lighting. The warm lighting is very, it's a softer tone. And now with the softer wood in my, in, as an accent wall, it's now, I'm going to have a daytime light, which will be, I'm going to flip them on for you guys so you guys can see. As you guys can see, those are pretty much my daytime or my filming lights. And then I'm going to switch out the under cabinet lights as a warm, cool tones nighttime light. This was all in my head that I wanted to do these changes over time. I just didn't know when I was going to do them. And I also didn't want to explain to everybody on why I was doing them because it was, it's hard for me to convey that. Another really cool upgrade that I did. This is like an upgrade video, I guess, is these window covers made by the same guy. Explore Outfitters made these windows. They're a flip over and then there's a screen attached. These are specifically made for people that have sliding windows. My sliders are flush mount so they pop in and then they slide over but with that there is no screen that comes with it my hand can go right through so what happens is explore outfitters designed these things where he made a seam flips it over and now there's a screen that magnets to the frame and now there's a screen up against that window so I can open my windows now in the summertime or wherever anytime at nighttime especially no bugs will come in it's an amazing feeling now that I have a screen there it's really I'm, I'm really happy with it let me turn the lights back off because man it is super nice without having those lights on it's like super like just mellow in here like uh next i will be doing uh i might do a whole video on this i haven't decided yet i'm actually going to be changing out the table the table's going to be a little different uh whether or not i go with epoxy or not i have no idea we'll find out lastly before i let you guys go you might be able to see it underneath the last cabinet over there is an open hole that is where my shower is because of the new wall i had to make small modifications to that lower section that drops off it's actually not a big deal i'm gonna fix it right now the only reason i haven't fixed it is because i'm at my brother's house and i do a lot of my work there he's got a garage and everything else like you guys have been seeing but my nephew his little boy is sleeping right now taking a nap midday nap man i like midday naps are so fun he's taking a nap right now and i do not want to wake him with the noise of running a table saw so i'm waiting for him to wake up perfect timing because i'm just waiting for my lights to come in anyways and then i'm gonna attach all those bada bing bada boom i got myself a nice like just I, my friends have been calling it a shabby chic modern van. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I like rustic modern, modern rustic, modern shabby chic, whatever you guys want to call it. It's kind of, it's a really interesting feel. I could not be happier with the way that it turned out. If you guys haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button. Please give this video a like because let's face it, I need help with some YouTube algorithm stuff. You know, that's just how it all works. Please comment below if you have any questions. Also, you can check out my comedy page, which I'm starting to get up and running, but it's still a work in progress. That's who is this effing guy as well as as you can also check out jaretachi.com for any merch or upcoming dates. I'm going to be doing a bunch of festival this summer. Yeah, we'll see how everything works out, guys. I'll see you later.